ever since Akere Dolo resumed to the country, I wouldn't say resumed office, but because since he got back into the country, he hasn't assumed his official responsibilities yet. But ever since he returned to the country, he has been getting his chemotherapy treatment at an hospital here in Nigeria. But recently, according to news sources, uh, the chemotherapy has not gone well for him and his health has really deteriorated. Hence why Akere Dolusson is seeking assistance from the president for air ambulance amid all of this trouble and the deterioration of the health of the governor Rotimi Akere Dulu of Ondo State. According to reports, he is incapacitated at the moment. Hence why Tenobu has, you know, summoned an emergency meeting with officials of the Ondo State government deciding that uh, Rotimi Akere Dulu should transfer his power to transfer power to his deputy before, you know, flying out of a country for further um, health, uh, health care or health solution. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comments section below. Akere Dolu's son seeks Tinobu's assistance for air ambulance amid governor's health deterioration. In light of Undo governor Rotimi Akere Dolu's worsening health condition, his son Babajidi Akere Dolu has appealed to President Bola Tinobu for assistance in arranging an air ambulance to return his ailing father to Jamnin where he has been undergoing leukemia treatment. The governor has been receiving chemotherapy in Nigeria, resulting to in severe side effects, including a 10-hour incapacitation after each session. Family sources reviewed on Tuesday that Governor Kiri Dulu's health has deteriorated to the point where he is unable to speak Babajide Akiri Dulu is seeking President Tinubu's permission and support to expedite the air ambulance arrangement for his father's transfer to Jamnin. Earlier reports on Tuesday stated that President Tinubu had directed Governor Akiri Dulu to delegate power to his deputy, Loki Ayeditiwa, and Senator Jimo Ibrahim. The electronic signature, his signature method, will be employed for the power transfer due to the governor's weakened state, preventing him from physically signing documents. During a meeting summoned by President Tinubu on Monday to address the leadership crisis in Ondo, attendees were informed of Governor Akere Dolu's incapacitation leading to the decision to transfer power electronically. The emergency meeting was the second called by President Tinubu in response to mounting pressure from civil society organization Take It Back, threatening mass protests for Akiri Dulu's resignation. Sources disclosed that there were initial decisions about invoking the doctrine of necessity to appoint Ayeditiwa as acting governor, but concerns about humiliating the ailing governor led to the decision for an e signature power transfer. This is also apprehension about potential forgery concerns, considering the existing. existing controversy surrounding the handling of the state's affairs. Meanwhile, the pro-democracy organization Take It Back Movement plans a town hall meeting in Akure on December 16 to demand Governor Akiri Dulu's resumption or resignation. 
The event marks the beginning of street protest calling for the ailing governor's resignation, who has been absent from the state since July 2023. You all, what are your thoughts on this? Let me have them in the comment section. Let's discuss, share opinions over there. Like this video, don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell as well so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Aye Labe Labe Gon Shinwe says another Yaradwa and Dam Baba Sutia Ludin. Ogbeni Akere Dulu, please hand over power and make peace with your creator. Power is transient. Eberi Angela, may the healing hands of the Lord be upon him. Amen. Akolo David, this should be taken as a sound lesson to our Nigerian leaders that it's high time they should look inward and make this country a better place for all of us to stay. Anyway, I pray for divine healing upon his life. Jude, for crying out loud, this is a governor of a whole state. Do you need the president to el lift him to Europe or American content for special treatment, as those of you in government calls it? Do you want him dead before you el lift him? Strange, very strange. I think that this is also, you know, exposing the kind of weak healthcare system we have in this country. Imagine this man has been receiving chemotherapy in Germany for a while. But I think that because people have been insisting that they needed their governor back in the country, they needed him to resume and because of all of the pressure, he had to return back to the country you know he started receiving chemotherapy treatment started getting treatments in the country but all of a sudden you know the treatments you know this uh started to is he misbehave or malfunction inside of his body according to you know news sources after about 10 hours of taking the chemotherapy he's usually incapacitated imagine someone you know getting incapacitated for over 10 10 hours each time it takes the chemotherapy treatment, I I pity the man, oh, but at the same time, he just needs to do what he needs to do. I think that if, if he has resigned, all of this pressure would not even be on him. And I also think that probably the man wants to resign, but his wife and his son, they are the, you know, they are the people who are insisting, I feel, you know, who are insisting that he should remain. He should remain in office because they have been the ones all, all along that have been in charge. His son is the one that is giving others, commissioners report to him and all of that. Imagine. Eh? Whereas there's a deputy governor on one side. But I just hope that this time around that he's leaving to continue his chemotherapy treatment abroad. That, you know, the power is being passed to the right person, which is the deputy governor. And things are done accordingly. Thank you very much, you all, for always listening and watching. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, like this video. Don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified each time we upload a new video. I will see you all in my next video, guys. Bye for now.